Wombats are round animals with short legs. They look cuddly and cute. So it means they're friendly, right? No. <laughs> Wombats are one of the most dangerous animals in Australia. They have sharp claws that can easily injure you. They have teeth that can bite you. They are very fast. They're also somehow very dense that when a car hits them on the road, the car is usually destroyed and the wombat itself is fine. The wombats are the largest burrowing animals, which means they spend their lives digging a burrow with their claws and teeth. They're also marsupials, like a kangaroo, which means they have a pouch for their offspring to live and grow after they are born. But unlike a kangaroo, a wombat's pouch is facing backward. This feature is beneficial for the baby wombat since the mother always digging a burrow, the backward pouch makes the dirt didn't enter the space where the baby lives. One of the most interesting things about wombats is their poop. Unlike any other animal, wombat poops is cube shaped. This square poop is not only a waste, it's actually useful for the wombat. The wombats use their cube shaped poop to mark their territory. They will place the cube and sometimes take them around their burrow like it was a natural Minecraft. This poop border is useful for the wombats to mark their territory and to attract mates because of their pheromone on it. So, unlike any other inferior poop, this cube poop is clearly superior because it does not easily fall when the wind blows it or when the surface is not flat. The wombat produce a lot of this poop, like up to 100 pieces per day. Okay, since we talk about wombat poop, let's talk about wombat's butt. So, with its round body, the wombat has a rounder butt. So, it means the butt is soft and fluffy like any other butt, right? No. <laughs> The butt is one of the most powerful things that wombats have. It literally can destroy your skull. So, unlike any other butt, the wombat's butt is made of bone plates, cartilage, and fat. And it has little nerve around it, making the wombat doesn't feel much pain in their butt. The butt has many purposes. For example, the wombat has a mating ritual that is not very different than humans. Before their mates, the male wombat usually chases the female wombat in a circle and then bite her butt and then they mate. See, not that different. The female also bites the male butt when she's fertile. Luckily, the wombat has little pain receptor on their butt, otherwise it will be pain in the ass when it comes to mating season. Then, when it comes to survival, the butt also serves its purposes as a defense and offense weapon for the wombats. Being a badass animal doesn't mean wombats have no natural predators. The dingo and Tasmanian devil are the usual animals that bully and hunt wombats. So when the wombat is attacked, the wombat usually decides to run into its burrow and then use its butt as a door to close it. If the predator is dense enough to force its way into the wombat's burrow, the butt biting from the predator doesn't really bother the wombat since the wombat barely feels the pain. But when the predator is forced to stick its head into the burrow, that means peace was not an option anymore. In that situation, wombats would use its hind leg and butt to smash the sh the predator's head into pieces. The wombat butt is no joke. It's so strong that you can usually find a crushed school of wombat's victim around the burrow. The last thing, I want to talk about one of the famous wombats, Patrick the Wombat. Patrick was one of the oldest and largest wombats in captivity. He was quite a chunk, weighing 88 pounds or 40 kilograms. He was 32 years old, which is equal to over 100 years in human age. Patrick lives in Ballarat Wildlife Park, Australia. He was known for riding his wheelbarrow to greet visitors. He also loves to cuddle. His life was surrounded by loving caretakers and his fan worldwide. But Patrick has a little problem. He was a virgin and never found his mate. His caretakers used many ways to help him get a mate, starting by trying to release him into the wild but ending up horribly because Patrick is shy and soft and not aggressive enough, so he was bullied by other wombats. Another attempt was also made to help Patrick get a mate. This time, his caretakers made him try online dating, so they made Tinder profile for Patrick, but it was also unsuccessful because Patrick had no match, which is not making any sense to me. I mean, look at him. Look at his wheelbarrow. He cool as heck, dude. If I was a female wombat, I would swipe right instantly. Because Patrick was old and his health deteriorated, Patrick finally passed away in 2017, surrounded by his loving caretakers and fans. Rest in peace, Patrick. May you get all the female wombats in heaven. 
Okay, that's all about wombat. Despite being dangerous, the wombats are still a cute animal. As long as you did look it up on urbandictionary.com. Thank you for watching.